All right, guys. <clears throat> got all the bearings. Got everything almost ready. So what you want to do is with the bearings, just make sure you don't just make sure you don't touch them. So I'm just gonna lay them in, touching the sides or the back only. So. Put them in. <clears throat> Welcome back, by the way. What I did end up doing is cleaning, cleaned all these where the bearings rest. All those got cleaned up really, really good. And uh, yeah, so clean them all up. Make sure you put them in the right way. So cleaned all these up just where there's no tolerance issues or anything like that um, and these are obviously the lower ones so like I said just make sure you don't touch inside here you know don't touch in there that's the muy importante importante anyway so I'm just touching the outsides or the outside and I'm wearing gloves too so <clears throat> that kind of helps make sure if you're using a rag try to use a lint free rag if you can if you can't then just make sure there's no lint and stuff down in there because anything you get underneath there can and will be used against you in the court of law um, but no it could it could throw off the tolerances. I mean, it probably won't, but if you have enough of it, <clears throat> it could. So, any who's. Just gonna throw all these bearings in. The big, big boy. The big one, the thrust one, goes on the back. As you all probably already know. So, let me throw some assembly lube in here. And, uh, yeah, let's go from there. Let's get this done. This crank's gonna weigh so much. I really, I really honestly don't even want to do it by myself. So, I'm just gonna throw a little dab there. A little dab there. A little dab there. Some more yabba dabba here, dabba there, yabba dabba do there, and yabba dabba do there. And just make sure your finger's clean, because they are rubber gloves. I'm pretty sure I will be good. You just don't want any of the acids from your skin getting on here. Just lube them up really good. The acids from your skin will, will uh, I guess, cause moisture or pitting or who knows what else. Who knows with the, what the human body does. So, plus I wash my hands with some uh, lava soap. Lava soap tends to dry your hands. Make sure I get a little bit on the sides of this thrust washer, or thrust bearing, I guess you can call it. So, I don't know if you can see down here or not, this way. But <clears throat> just putting this stuff everywhere. Now granted, if it was windy, probably would not be doing this out here. This is kind of a kind of a tedious little thing. So let me grab this crank and break my back and who knows what else I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean up some tools real quick. I will be right back. Alright guys, it is really heavy. I just took it out of that crate and wow. 
Alright, so I'm gonna try to give it my best. Get some crap out of the way. <clears throat> I'm a big, big strapping young man. Right? Alright, here goes. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh. Jeez. There's that. Now let me throw more. There's guns right there. Sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it. Throw some more of this crap on here. One shot though. Not too bad. Gym. Going to the gym with my wife in the morning. It's been helping. So. I don't know if I mentioned, but this crank did get turned uh, to 0.25 millimeters larger or uh, smaller. So the uh, the uh, what you gonna call it? The bearings are just a little bit bigger. Hmm. Usually, usually that takes two guys to do, but whatever. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, so, uh, I'll be back. I forgot to clean the caps. So, I will be right back. Alright. <clears throat> I got them. Got them on. Or got them clean, I should say. So number one, now the numbers, the numbers all go, they all go to the uh, engine cooler side, the oil cooler side, so number one. Same thing, just make sure, make sure you're not touching them. With bare fingers, or uh, human fingers. If you got bare fingers, then uh, do whatever you're gonna do. Because you're probably part bear, and you're better than I am. Sorry for the dry, stupid humor, but you gotta do something, I guess. That's what they tell me. So I'm just applying a lot of lube. I guess a lot of lube won't hurt you. Once you get everything torqued down, it's all, it's all gonna pop out anyway. Keep on plugging, plugging away. So, more than likely I'll have the bottom in all done today. So we have one, two, three, and quattro.
definitely recommend not doing this by yourself. I mean, unless you're just a big old ogre. But I work for the railroad. I lift a lot of heavy, stupid stuff every day. You know, just our our drill is probably like 50 pounds. And some of our hammers that we swing all day is 16 pound sledgehammers, which they actually made illegal for the railroad. And if you're caught using one, you can get you can get in trouble, but people still use them. So whatever it is what it is. But anyway, this is why I don't like doing these type of videos because they're pretty much boring as heck. So, anyway, let's make sure everything lines up. Put everything on their dowels before you cinch anything down. That's where they all go on straight. And then I'll be back again. So I'm gonna get some ARP torque right. Oops, sorry. ARP torque right, whatever this crap's called, and put them on these nuts and go from there.